Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about how we can call an REST API. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So Angular 19 introducing the provide HTTP client for the standalone components. It replaces the HTTP client module when using the standalone architecture. Configure HTTP client globally if you want to make it globally. So you have to add like this. Okay. So in the last video, we have already added provide HTTP client globally. Okay, now I'm going to use that one. Then first of all, we have to create a service. I'm going to generate this service like this. Okay. So here we just go to the terminals. I'm go, just I'm going to create a service with services API. Okay, API services dot yes, it will generate. Okay. Moving to the next, I'm going to just add this JSON placeholder API to retrieve the data. Okay, so export this one. I'm going to just use this API service. Okay. Or we can use the full fledged code, I suppose. Let's go to the API service. My service. No, it's API, I suppose. The name is services. Okay, so let's go to check in the services folder. close this let's close this products now we have the services we have api services api services on all this same thing just add this okay so here you can see that we have used the json placeholder type api example api constructor here you need to import this http client okay and get post observable for the observable part and the rxgx a full-fledged tutorial will be given on this RxJx, what exactly it is, okay? So here, just you note about the, uh, with the help of this, HTTP.get, you will get this data, okay? This is the URL, and uh, this is the function, get post, and there is observable, and here, with the help of the HTTP dot, because this is a get API, and we are just calling this API to get the data, okay? Moving to the next part, now create a standalone component. I have already the standalone component to fetch the data and display the data. Okay, so here I'm going to take the dev right now and I'm going to use in our product section. Okay, so here you can see that. I'm just going to hide this product section we have. Okay, and uh, let's comment and remove all of this code. And here I'm going to go with our HTML file so this is now i'm going to add this post so here i need to define the post so i'm going to call the api in the providers we don't need and the imports we don't need anything and we have already added as a but just we need to add the api service right now and we have imported as a globally in our eng bootstrap application right here this is done now i'm going to import the service okay we don't require the interface right now okay this is what because it's in the services i suppose okay so this is in the services import api service okay from the services now i'm going to use this okay Imported now I'm going to use that one in our Component, okay, so implements we have to use on on in it Okay, fetch the data from the API and in the bootstrap application. We have already add this HTTP client global access Okay, now I'm going to use this Okay, I need to just use this one in our core module Right, so I'm going to use that one on in it, it will fetch. The, it will pull pull down my this fetch dot post, and we are going to call in the API this API service. To, so here you can see that we have do the dependency injection and it's call the services. Okay, so this dot API service dot get post because in the API services, right, we have the method that is called get post, and we are going to subscribe the data to fetch the records and in the and we are just pushing all the data into the this dot post and this dot post consists of the array right 
okay and uh, this post i'm going to just iterate in our component file with post and the title and the body save this let's run no and she serve and it will call the api okay let's open it open link there's something angular detected that the client is not configured to use the fetch apis it strongly recommend to enable the fetch for application that use a server side rendering for the better performance compatibility to enable fetch add with the fetch to the provide uh, provide http client let's see what exactly happening over there so we have in the products section right products so here you can see that we have successfully called the api and retrieve all the data right now okay but there is a uh, one thing that is angular detect something with text that is not configured this one we are going to learn in the coming section how we can solve this issue okay so this is how we can use the http client http client what which math parameters they have used http client used to perform the http request like get post put delete observable handle asynchronous data streams from the api so we are using observable dependency injection we are using injects the api service into the component for the api calls okay so this is the http client module any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day